All right, so welcome everybody. Uh, we're here for Banter Blitz Club. I'm here playing against uh, Sanal Vahap, who's a strong grandmaster from Turkey. I prepared a little bit for him, and uh, he's playing a lot of these online uh, Blitz events, so I'm very much playing on his turf, and I certainly consider him the favorite, but hopefully I can give him some trouble. And uh, we'll be doing my best to talk about my games while they're going on, but when the clocks get really low, I might have to uh, talk a bit less. Additionally, I'm going to be giving an interview in Spanish uh, after the game, which is going to be an absolute disaster, but you guys can watch and laugh. So let's see. We are underway here. He's playing King's Indian, which I took a brief look at. I don't think he's going to just randomly play the Grunfeld, but yeah, he's mostly a King's Indian player. And in my trustable course, I gave the Gligorich with Bishop e3. Uh, but here I'm going to try something a little different and just go straight into a main line. Um, so he goes knight a6, which I think is not an amazing move. And after rook e1, I believe white is slightly better. Uh, you really should go knight c6 there. I can also play bishop e3 instead of rook e1, but I think this is easy enough. So here, bishop e3. And, um, and I think white has a pretty pleasant position here. Like the main line is bishop takes f3. Bishop f3, e d4, bishop d4, and then knight b4. And I prepared this move, bishop back to e2. And I think white's a little better with a, a pretty comfortable position. So we'll be interested to see if he has some big idea here. I had seen he had played a game in this line with d5 instead of bishop e3, but I think bishop e3 is just a better move. Okay, so rook e8, I think, is a mistake. Uh, now I should be able to play d5 a bit more comfortably. Um, just thinking if there's any reason not to, but I don't really see it. So I'm going to go ahead and play d5. And if he plays knight c5, I should be able to play knight d2. Um, which, which works for me nicely. And, um, and the reason is that because my bishop is on e3, he will not have any knight d3 tricks. I will go bishop. Yes. Yeah. So here I believe I can go... Uh, knight d2, because if he goes knight d3, I have bishop g4, and after knight e1, bishop e2, the knight is trapped. And if he plays knight g4, queen g4, the point of the bishop on e3 is he doesn't get to take the rook on e1. So knight d2 should be good here. And I believe white is pleasantly better. I will get the white scored bishops off the board, and that's always something white's happy about in King's Indian. Um, so he takes, sure, let's take with the queen. Um, and a5, natural enough. But uh, I definitely think I should be better here. So I'm just thinking how I want to proceed. Let's start with g3, which just is prophylaxis against like knight h5, knight f4. It's probably not an amazing move, but I'm just sort of thinking I want to play f3 next and not walk into knight h5. So, okay, he goes h5. I suppose that makes sense. I'm going to go f3. And then at some point I can play for like knight b3 next or something and maybe put his position under some pressure, but I probably should have been more direct with like a3, b4 at some point, but this is fine. All right, so knight back. Let's start with b3, keep everything nice and solid. If he plays f5, I'm probably going to take it. He does, uh, so he's challenging me, but I believe I can take this one pretty comfortably. And then let's go rook a c1, make sure nothing hangs. And at some point, I think this structure can get pretty dangerous for black. But now I'm sort of a little bit regretting b3. All right, so queen f6, the guy probably wants some kind of f4. No, f4 is never going to work, so I don't know what he wants. Um, let's start with king h1 and get the king out of dodge. Queen g6, sensible enough. Uh, so I guess f4 and then um, he's threatening knight d3 in some capacity, so he could also consider playing e4 next. Um, Let's just start with rook f1, anticipating e4. I don't want my rook to be hanging on e1 in the event of any knight d3. If he plays f4, I can take c5, and I should be pretty happy. All right, so there. Let's, um, yeah. Uh, how am I going to handle this? I'm running too low on time already. Got to move faster. Let's start by getting rid of one of these knights. They're starting to annoy me for some reason. And then my thought was here, maybe I can try f4, but it seems a bit much. I'm just going to bring the queen back. I'm playing this game like a total wuss, but that's okay. Um, it's not so bad. Sure. So let's go rook d1. And he might want d4 here, but I think he's sort of asking for it if he does that. Well, he doesn't believe me. Um, but my thought was here I can start to make trouble. 
So let's sacrifice a piece and see what happens. I think this can get very dangerous for black once I go, um, he takes f5 next and then I have f6 and knight e4 and a lot of uh, aggressive moves available. So uh, there's definitely some risk in black's position here, but maybe I'm just a piece down, who knows? But I thought I'm ready with some kind of knight e4 next. But yeah, I've played this game really badly. All right, so there, I guess his point is now, if I play f6, he has rook e2. That makes sense. Um, what am I going to play? Uh, go queen f3. No, he takes d2. Go rook f3, knight e1. I guess I have to go like knight f3, which is sort of a sad move. But I don't think this is... I'm probably just lost, but maybe I can make a fight out of it. And I've played this game really badly so far. This is why I told you he's going to be a favorite. Um, but it's not over yet by any stretch. I still have some, some counterplay that he should be careful of. Okay, so rook e3. Can I take it and go queen e2? This rook's almost trapped, but not quite. Um, not really. Um, how am I going to handle this? Take, take, rook e2, queen f5, knight e1. What if let's let's give this a try? It looks interesting. So it takes, and then I'm going to go queen e2, and his rook is in some danger. I guess he can play rook takes f3, and then bishop e5. Though is probably pretty good for him. Uh, so it's still not great for me. Man, I have not started this game well. But this queen e2 is a nice trick. So that I didn't think was a great move because of knight e1. Oh, but he has rook to, um, to whatever that square is, e3. That's a nice resource. And if I go knight d4, let's give that a try and see what happens. It's bad news, but we can try. I guess you can play rook d2, yeah. That's going to be bad. Rook e3, but then I can play rook f5, I thought was the big idea. Okay, so I've tricked my way out of this horrible game, uh, which obviously is good news, but um, it's still not that easy to win. Like, the A-pawn is coming with some counterplay. But yeah, I've just completely tricked him for in an absolutely lost position. Uh, but that is what Banter Blitz is about, so I don't feel the slightest bit guilty. All right, so let's grab this pawn. You should play a4, c6, really? But now don't I play a4 and stop you? And if cd, I have knight c7, and then no moves. c8 takes. Yeah, that was a dangerous pre-move, I guess. All right, so let's go um, h5, I guess. King h6, sure. Let's go knight e7 and bring the knight to g6. Knight g6, bishop g4. Right, he's very resourceful. Yeah, now I'm already regretting some previous moves. All right, let's try to keep everything defended. Knight f4. But now rook e3 and counterplay. All right, this guy's resourceful, and I'm talking too much. All right, so back this way. Bishop b5. Yeah, it's a good move. He's very strong. All right, now we got to play this a bit differently. Run with the king and hope for the best. Still not that easy for him, he's losing some stuff. I guess let's take this one and go here. And then let's take b7. And he's coming to mate me, huh? Okay, so I will have a check, which is helpful. Check, of course. Let's go a5, and these pawns are very fast now. So a6, and if a7, he has bishop d4, so I have to be careful of that, but if I blundered it anyway, let's see, a7, bishop d4, and there's not much else I can do. That's not good. All right, let's try check. I'm just, no, but this is a draw now. Now I've played this really badly. What can I do? There was, I missed bishop d4 there. But I was also, had no business winning the game in the first place, so. 
Let's see if I can pull a miracle out of the hat on this one. King F2. Check. Sure, I think his checking is just not a good idea, but yeah, this is, he's going to save this. Where is the draw button? I can't find it. So this is draw. Okay, so that was a very back and forth first game where at first I was clearly better. Then I was a, just like a rook down and then I tricked him and then, yeah. So let me uh, go to the second game here. And um, yeah, uh, at the same time, I was dead winning in the end game and managed to screw it up. So uh, in general, if you're completely winning and completely lost in the same game, you have no grounds for complaints, regardless of how things go. So I'm pretty sure I clicked the right game here, but it should be his move. Yeah, okay, so he's played knight f3. All right, so let's go d5, seems fine. Right, so I'll play semi-slav, like in the trustable course. B3, huh? Okay, bishop f5 is fine. I am not scared of this system. F6, C H6, D7, D3, castle. Let's just tuck the bishop back on H7 first, just for good measure. Didn't even know if it was necessary, but it, it feels like at some point I'm going to have to uh, for either knight d4 or e4 in some cases. All right, so queen c7, knight d2, knight bd7, queen c2, knight bd7, and I think this is supposed to be pretty comfortable for black. So let's go a5, a3, sure. Now, if I'm not mistaken, b5 is not stupid here, and then my queen gets to b6. So let's give this a try. I'm never really scared of e4. All right, so knight d4, queen b6 is the big idea, and then my rook can come to c8. So if he goes like cb5, cb5, knight c6, the knight looks nice but doesn't actually do anything, and I can go and uh, maybe even bishop c5. Uh, and here, I think his position actually can come under unpleasant pressure pretty quick if I'm allowed to play a4 next. So he takes, understandable. Um, but... So rook c1, but this strikes me as very dubious. If I start with bishop c5, that knight is already short on squares. Let's find out. So bishop c5. Maybe I'll go rook c8 next. E3, huh? Okay, so I'll playing this rook to c8 so that um, in the event of b4 and I go take take and bishop d4, after queen c8 I'll have bishop b2 because queen um, c8 won't be check. But I think this is already actually pretty dangerous for white. Like if I'm allowed to go like knight e5 next, I think his position is sort of coming under fire. So there. I'm um, thinking maybe I'll start with b4 just to fix the structure a bit. Um, yeah, let's start with b4. I don't think he wants to take it. He should probably play a4, but then knight e5 comes and I don't see his move. Yeah, so a4, knight e5, and I think something's going to fall here. Um, I could be wrong, but it looks pretty good. I mean, see any real tricks he has. This bishop on h7 all of a sudden is fantastic as soon as white plays e3, so um, you know, this seems to be falling apart for white. So I think that was necessary, but I don't see the follow-up after rook takes c5. I guess he wants e4, but I mean, he sort of have to, but... This doesn't feel like it's something that should work very well. I mean, I'm an exchange up and I have open files for the rooks. So this should be bad news for white. Takes with the knight. Sure, I don't really see a real reason for that. Okay, so he takes this way. Let's go rook d8. At some point I might just play rook c3 just because, but... 
Uh, I don't know if I need to be that rush. So knight b5, I guess he wants bishop d4. I suppose that makes sense. Um, Uh, it's a little bit annoying. Let's go knight c6 and stop his threats. The next move is probably bishop g6, just to make sure I don't randomly get mated on the back rank. All right, so queen a1, e5 is quite fine with me. And now he wants, but I go knight d4 first, right? And here I have to be in good shape. Okay, so I could just give an exchange back. Um, in fact, I will. This knight on d4 is so good that I'm not particularly concerned. Um, the knight on d4 should win the game. Yeah, so that's actually a good move, a little annoying. Um, now you can start with queen c5, and the queen is ready to come to c3. Sure, so he gets out of the way. I'm just going to clear this area for my king, and I'm ready for f6, bishop f7 as well to go harass the b-pawn. Queen c2, let's go f6, keep thing, or maybe I can start with queen c3, but now let's just go f6, keep things solid, bring the bishop to f7. Yeah, so bishop comes back to f7, and then b3 comes under attack, and knight on d4 is amazing. I probably could have converted this much more cleanly, but this is quite enough for me. As long as I don't get low on time. D1, sure. Let's play bishop f7. H4, yep. So let's go rook d6 and get ready for queen d8. And then it falls apart. But this guy I've noticed from the games I looked at, like he gets a lot of bad positions, but he's a very resilient player. Like, he always finds all the little tricks, so I have to be very careful not to get overly complacent. Like, yeah, rook f1 is just a good move. And it's still, he's always managing to find ways to complicate the game. Next step, I think I'll probably transfer my rook to c3. So I'll go rook c6, and then rook c3. And let's grab this pawn. Let's go rook d3, I guess. Can take h6 and pray. Yeah, it does. It's a good move. Um, if I go knight b3, it should win, but knight b3, where does this queen go? She doesn't have a square. Let's give it a try. If queen g5, this time I will win with the a pawn. Queen c6, but rook d6, and now I'm good to go. I take a piece. Okay, so just now let's go bishop f7, make sure to keep the squares around my king as safe as possible. But now this guy's incredibly resourceful. All right, let's go rook b6, I guess. And yeah, I mean, he can take my knight, I guess, but it doesn't help him. So let's see if I have... Let's go b3, and then can I go rook g6 and put the rook on g7? Queen takes, and I have to take with the knight on e6. Stick the rook on g7. Man, this guy is incredibly resourceful. But now I've got enough pieces in front of my king that I hopefully won't get myself mated. So queen e3. Sure, so queen d4, b2, let's see how I want to do this, go h5, just no counterplay, rook e4, check, sure, and now queen d1, now have I finally got this guy? I think so. Okay, that took long enough, I kept on saying I was winning, and he always just found one resource after another, he's really good at that. Um, but okay, so let's, uh, let's move on to game three. It's a fine start. Um, and uh, yeah.
Let's play this King's Indian again. It went well for me until I just started playing like an absolute bozo. So I think this is a good line. It's just castle. He goes for bishop g4, which doesn't feel particularly special, but let's just go bishop e3. Um, I think there was the Wojtyszek Karwana game there, but yeah. But here are these structures I always thought were better for whites. I mean, let's say I go rook c1, I guess, and then we'll tuck the bishop back on, um, on e2 and play f3. So rook e8 is a good prophylactic move in that regard. Um, let's start with queen d2, I guess. Seems fine. If I can ever get bishop e2, f3, and I should be better, but that's generally pretty hard to pull off. Okay, so here he wants that one. I guess that makes sense. It's actually a little annoying to defend e4. Let's, um, let's start with bishop g5 and harass his queen a little bit. It's very tricky. Queen c8, sure. I guess I can start with rook e1 now, and my point is now he can no longer play bishop c3 and knight e4. So uh, if I'm allowed to play knight d5 next, white should be much better, but I think he should be able to make some counterplay before that happens. Sure, so I have to come back to d1. That's fine. But he has knight e6, and then it's not so easy. He probably should play knight d6 now, because after bishop e3, he'll be able to take on e4. Um, yeah, so that, I think, is too cooperative. If I'm able to play like f3, solidify the position, I think white should be better. So here, I'm ready for like bishop e3 next, and it seems reasonably comfortable for white. So, so you're going to do queen back to d8, sure. Um, I guess now we can probably get away with f4, so let's do it. Still not, it's never easy in these lines. Like I think white is pleasantly better, but it's it's not like I have some brilliant plan to win the game in the next few moves. He's very solid. Okay, so he plays f5, uh, which strikes me as a little bit optimistic, but if I can't punish it, it's certainly a fine move. So I'm going to take it and open the file. Be interested to see what he takes with. So he takes that way, bishop f2. And my thought was now I'm ready for a move like bishop g4 next. And structurally, black's in real trouble, but the, the question is, can he do something direct because he does uh, his pieces are more active than mine. Like my bishop on d1 is certainly passive for the moment. And if he can do something with his activity right now, he's, he's well, it depends what he can do, but uh, structurally he's definitely worse in the not so long run. Um, but it can be hard to play positions like this with black, even if he's fine here, which I'm not convinced he is. Uh, he will have to like find something very direct to avoid just becoming worse. So yeah, that's like, Obviously not a normal looking move. Uh, that's a move you make because you're trying to... Okay, what? Well, so he wants to weaken the f3 square, I guess. I suppose that makes sense. Let's uh, bring the king up to make sure I don't hang on the f3 square. That also makes sense. h5, okay, let's challenge this knight. And now he cannot play knight d4 without... Because there's no more knight f3 in hitting that. Okay, so there, uh, can I go... Let's go rook d1 and over protect this one, I think is fine. I don't want to hang uh, my queen and I'm looking to maybe move my knight next, like knight e4 or something. So rook d8, sure, that makes sense. Uh, if knight e4, don't think that works that amazingly for me. That's probably good. Let's see. Let's let's give it a try. I think my point is after queen d2, I can play uh, rook d2, bishop b2, rook b1, and then start going after his pawns. If queen a2, his queen is really starting to become vulnerable. 
maybe he can get away with it, but let's see. So he takes this, and now the real question comes, does he want to take b2 or not? Uh, I don't I think I don't think he will get away with it. Rook b1 is too annoying. Maybe though, he can try like he could have taken it and then after rook b1 um by d5. Let's see, so here. No tricks, I don't think. So let's just put the bishop on I guess. D3 is fine. D1 was also interesting, but let's say D3. That is a mistake because now the structure is good for me. So where do I want my knight? Play G5 is fine. And yeah, I don't think he has major counterplay here. Uh, does he want knight C4? I guess that's a good. That's good. Fine here. Now I can play. Oh, I see. Very clever. But king f1, and maybe he just makes a draw here. Rook c8, no draw for me. Okay, uh, so if I take on g6 and then take on h5, I don't see the big idea, so let's do it. Take on h5, and what's the threat? 93, sure, I come here, and you have some move. But I didn't see there and rook d1, and I think I'm alive. Check, come back to g1. Uh, his pieces are active, but he needs something pretty concrete here to justify this kind of material loss. See a weird draw with knight e3, rook d2, rook c1, king f2, knight c4. Yeah, so here he starts with this, but I wonder, can I get away with knight f3 here? Take, take, rook e1, and then king to uh, f2. If he plays d4, I don't see a direct refutation. Let's give this a try. Why not? We're playing banter blitz. So yeah, the point is take, take, and if he goes uh, rook e1, I have king f2, and his pieces are hanging. And I don't see a direct problem with it. Oh, now I do. He can take and go knight c2. That's clumsy. Knight c4 instead. That's a pretty good move, isn't it? Um, I have any recourse here? Not really. Play rook d3 maybe. Knight f3, bishop f3, and then king f2, and rook c1, bishop d5, and messy. I think I have to go for it. I don't have another move, so let's give this a try and see what happens. I think he's okay here, but I don't know. He takes b2. I'm just missing everything. But here, don't I get my rook to like a good square? Knight f3, take, take, and bishop d4, and am I busted? Maybe. This guy is so resourceful, I'm really impressed. All right, let's try to survive somehow, but it's not pretty at this point. I've survived one position with a rook less, but this one I'm not optimistic about. It's in here. In here. Get the pawns moving. I am very much lost, but I can keep trying. Check here, check. Yeah, okay, we're done here. Wow, this guy is annoyingly resourceful. Where's the resign button here? Okay. All right, good game. Let's beat him the next one. So one and a half, one and a half. All right. I am bad at talking about games I'll play. All right. So resourceful. Strong guy. How did that go so wrong? Let me figure that out. All right, let's see if he wants to challenge my uh, chess little repertoire. Let's see if he can do something about it. What are we gonna play? Right. Razor, give it a try. D2, A6. Let's just see what he wants against the main stuff from chess little. So 
right here, bishop e7, and what's he gonna play? Knight f3, sure, b5. Take and take, yep. And now what does he want there? Queen b6. So he goes queen h6, we castle long, I think. Queen h5, rook hf8. Bishop d3, let's go. King b8, and now I believe here the big point I had was rook c8, which I think is supposed to be pretty reasonable for black. With the plan of queen c5 and bishop d8, and reroute the pieces like that. So let's go queen c5, and bishop a5 is coming. And we'll see if he has some big idea here. So there. Can I go bishop? Yet, or do I want to start with like knight e5 or knight b4 even? Let's um, let's start with knight e5. I think is fine. If he takes it, then after d e, his um, his knight on e2 is really bad. And I get some queen side counterplay here. But yeah, just, just based on how resourceful he was that last game, I really think he's a pretty big favorite this match. He's just too good at this online stuff. So wait, is this not just a draw if I go rook h8 and then start attacking his queen perpetually? I think it's just a perpetual on the queen. I'm pretty sure that's how you're supposed to play it, but I'm just wondering if I can continue the game somehow. Uh, rook h8, other rook f8, g8. Yeah, I don't think I can continue this game. Um... I'm just a pawn down and no real counterplay. Yeah, I gotta make a draw here. All right. This one is a draw. And this queen is. So Rick F8. And this is a draw. Yep. For a draw. Okay, let me go to the next game. So this should be game five. See if I can get on the scoreboard with White. He's playing pretty well in this King's Indian, so I'll try something a little quieter. I mean, I don't know. It feels like I'm admitting defeat when I'm just getting really good positions, but he's just too at home in them, and we're playing Blitz, not Classical. So let's try a more quiet setup with this. G2. D4, and I checked this move, rookie one is kind of clever. Uh, let's see if he's ready for it. This was played against me by Wonder Liang as well at the online US Championship. So knight c6, we can go d5, and then probably should play knight b8. Goes for knight b4 instead. Let's go e4, and now take the space in the center, and his knight is going to lose a lot of time, but maybe it's a non-issue. Okay, so c4. Let's go knight c3. And I think his knight on b4 actually is almost misplaced here. It's like, I kind of don't want to play a3, but let's go... I think I'll have to sooner or later, so um, I'm going to start with a3 here. He goes knight a6. And then I'll go h3 and take uh, with the bishop on f3 and yeah, knight d7. And this is probably slightly better for white, but it's the same kind of slightly better I was in the previous games where he was just getting so much practical chances that I didn't really manage to prove anything. So I have to be take this slightly better with a grain of salt. Okay, so let's go queen c2, stopping. Um, knight d3, and now I don't really think I'm scared of knight to b3, so let's go bishop e3. If knight b3, I will have uh, rook a d1. And maybe he has some, but he's, he, he will always have counterplay here. It's never going to be straightforward. Like, he can play knight b3, rook a d1, c5, and just slam knight d4 against any legal move is probably not the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Um... If he takes on d5, I'll probably take with the e-pawn, but okay, so there I guess I'm just supposed to bring my rook to d1. 
Seems logical enough. And soon, I guess, eventually I'll play King G2 and F4 and start to expand. Sure, so let's start with F4 directly, just to never have to worry about the C4 square. And I'll get King G2. If he wants to take C3, he can have it. I think that the taking C3 structure is a lot worse for black than normal because um, uh, because of, what was I saying, um, the pawn on A4. All right, so here if I take C6 and he takes back and I go E5, it feels like I can ask him some questions he might not be ready to answer. So let's give it a try. D5. And at some point, like out of nowhere, bishop g4 can come and be a major pain in the butt for him as well. So, now that's... But my confidence is sort of fried after getting these two good King's Indians, and he just completely tricked his way out and was just so resourceful. So I have to be very careful here and not, uh, not get overconfident. All right, so let's take this. And then I don't want to take d6 yet. Let's just go bishop f3 and start attacking stuff. I don't think he can defend it. Just as I say that, he does defend it. Um, let's see, can he deal with the knight coming to b4? Let's find out. Knight coming to b4 looks pretty dangerous. Yeah, there's a lot of weaknesses in Black's position, so it's almost like roles are reversed. I mean, he's got these aggressively placed knights. Structurally, he should be fine, but like the weaknesses are pretty notable. All right, so there I'm definitely going to give an exchange if he gives me the chance. So let's see. Is he going to go knight d4 and let me give an exchange? So I'm going to give this exchange. Now, do I take with the uh, knight or with the bishop? Maybe take with the knight. Right, so let's take with the knight, and then we'll go like the knight back to b4. Sure. And then knight d5 comes next, and I don't see how he holds this together. We play rook a5, I guess, but this is... This is clever. Rook b8, doesn't this just lose to knight d5? Am I missing something? You can play queen c4, but it seems bad. Queen c4, I even have rook e8. Queen d8, I have rook e8. Nah, this is gone. Okay, so there's so many winning moves here. Let's see. So rook e8, rook takes e8, knight takes f6 is absolutely gone. That seems good enough for me. If rook e8, king g7, queen c4. Yeah, let's just go rook e8. This seems easily enough. Take this, and if rook b2, I have queen e2, and that's it, right? Oh, have I blundered this away? To some stupid trick, we're queen e2, rook e8, and I lose. Oh my god, that's so bad. He was absolutely lost there for just dead nothing, and I just blundered it away. No, wait, I can go this one. Hang on, if I go rook e2 and then knight f6, can I pray? Not really. Oh my god, I was completely winning. Okay, let's try this. That is so bad. I'm so mad at myself. Rook c4, and I'm just dead, knight f6. And... Oh, boy. I'm going to lose this match horribly after that game. He's completely winning in one move. Just take his bishop like a normal human being. All right, I'm going to resign this game. Uh, no, hang on, that's the wrong one. Yes, resign. Okay. I was absolutely winning and blundered my piece in one move. Okay. Oh, boy, what a day. All right, back to work. Let's beat this guy.
He's up 3-2, and he needs to get to 4.5, so I need to start winning some games, but that's okay. Let's see if he wants the Sicilian again. Maybe I'll mix things up a little more. All right, so... Let's try Nidorf this time. A3, let's go Knight C6. Okay, let's just play Dragon, should be fine. That last game is going to bug me for a long time. Castle. Bishop d7, and at some point this just feels like a good dragon for me. Like, I'm going to play b5, and the b pawn is... My a6 move was more useful than uh, than um, than his a3. So, if I go like... I don't want to play this. Just knight e5 is fine. Fight for a bishop pair. So he wants to take that one. It's okay with me. Not wildly scary. Let's go. Do I want to take it and go queen b6, or is that too rash? It's probably too rash. Let's just go queen b6 directly. Um, if he doesn't mate me with bishop h6, I don't really think it's a wildly useful move. Okay, so there, and can I play b4 and make a mess? Let's see how he wants to keep this closed. Take, take. Stuff is sort of starting to hang in White's position just a little bit. If Bishop a6, I have, I guess, Rook a8, but it's not the only move. I can sack an exchange on b2 or something, but. Here I'm at least getting a little bit of counterplay that should hopefully annoy him a bit. Okay, so he takes on g7, we take back. Knight b3, sure. Just bishop e6, I guess. Challenge this knight. If bishop a6, rook a8, and, or bishop takes h3 is also possible, but then f4. Let's just go bishop e6. Um, yeah, bishop a6, I have rook a8. So that's not particularly concerning, I don't think. And then I take b3 next with hopefully some advantage. So we can hope at least. So take, and then take again. And if f4, play queen b6 or something. Or... Um, See, how do I want to do this? If knight c4, queen d4, I guess is his idea. And knight b2, e5, take, take. Um, takes, takes, knight d1, ef6, we have rook d8. Hang on, I think this is working. I think I see a tactic. Yeah, let's go knight c4. If queen d4, I have knight b2, and then I have a tactic in mind, and we'll see if it works. Oh, I just realized it doesn't. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I was planning queen d4, knight b2, and then um, after e5, d, e, I get some rook to d8, and uh, there'll be queen b6 at the end. This one I didn't think should work, but what do I know? Uh, so if I go rook c8 and then rook c2, if I go... I can also just go e5. It's kind of tempting. Um, let's see. No, 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 no. E5 is not great. Um, if I go C8 and Rook C2, he's basically okay there. Here, here, takes, takes. Let's just go rip b8 and defend my stuff. If e5, I will take and play knight h5, and it looks scary, but I don't see a great move for him. Oh, does he have knight d1 here? Just blundering absolutely everything. Yeah, he has knight d1, and I can resign. Yeah. 
Oh boy. Does he not see it? Maybe he just wants like B5 instead when I can keep fighting, but I'm probably lost. No, knight d1, I have queen a4. Okay, thank god. So, <laughs> not totally gone yet. Yeah, okay, so he he probably missed this move. I missed it for a while too, but... Um, so this was definitely more a case of being the lucky player as opposed to the good one, but that's okay. Uh, after last game, I don't feel bad about getting lucky. So now I'm a pawn up, and the question is, can I convert this? There, so knight c5, and this feels very winning for black, but maybe I'll find a way to screw it up. Rook a5, rook c8 is nothing. All right, let's just keep everything defended first and foremost. Try to be as blunderproof as possible. All right, knight b4. Rook a7, sure. Do you have a threat? Let's just... Bring this rook to c8, and now I'm ready with knight c6 next. Or knight d3. No, knight d3 I can't play. That's how you know you're off form. You're thinking about knight d3. Okay. Um, but knight c6 is coming next. And then his rook is kicked away, and at some point, maybe my extra pawn will count. No, I am frustrated, but still, if I put this away, I'm not in the worst shape. Okay, so that's a good move. He wants to stop knight c6. Um, can I just play it anyway? Not really. Um, how do I do this? Let's just start by disallowing knight g4, I think, is a good place to begin. Um, I don't want to let him play knight g4, so h4, yep, okay, so let's go, let's go knight c6 and then take back with a knight on b8 and then ready for knight c6 again, I think that makes some sense. Or I can also actually take a7, I like taking a7, but then... And yeah, I keep his rook out of my face this way. So knight c6, and how does he save the pawn? He has to put the rook on a passive square. That would be good news. Okay, get the rook to d4. Or the knight to d4, I guess, if he insists. Let's go knight f5. And then knight b3, I suppose. Rook c7 is coming, or now let's go now knight d4. G3, sure, but rook to d5, and I'm going to get his pawn here, and hopefully that will be enough for me to win a darn game. Um, e4, take this. G3, and then if I go rook e3, and then I'm ready with rook c7, knight f3. Knight f3, give me that knight. So we'll take this one, and then take this one, and then right, knight d6 comes and we're done here. Okay, so, all right, so I've managed to even the score in this absolutely horrendous game, but that's okay. Let's, um, let's go back and try to play this knight f3 business again. G3, G6, and then let's go D6, rookie one. Let's see if he wants to do this again. I didn't think he got a good position, but well, we'll see. All right, so it was a little annoying actually that I let him take my knight. Let's just keep as many pieces on the board and let him wallow in that for as much as I can. All right, so I'm gonna go knight C3 and let him take on D5. I think this is just this is just a totally different structure, but. He's just too at home in these King's Indian ones he's here. Okay, so knight d7. And this is exactly the kind of position where I just think c4 is just not that helpful a move. So 
let's um, start centralizing the pieces. Um, okay, Queen B2. Um, Go, I guess a3 is a good time, and we'll bring the rook to d1. At some point, I'm going to go like knight d4 when I'm ready, but I don't want to do it without when I'm allowing knight e5. Okay, so there, I suppose that makes sense, but if I just tuck my bishop back on f1, see, I have a great move after that. I can also just go bishop d4. I don't like that. Let's just go bishop d4. Seems fine. I'm not scared of knight c4, the queen will head on c1. C1. So finally, all that long rerouting just to get the knight to e5, which it could have gone to anyway. I suppose my queen on c1 would be better on d2 now, but I still just think I should be better here. Um, I don't know how much though, and but what I like is I don't think he has like immediate counterplay, which is where things were going wrong in the previous game. So, so let's challenge that knight. I'm not sure I just want to chop it or anything, but it makes it harder for him to like i mean if i play if it makes it harder for him to move the rook on a8 to d8 because of tricks with it so let's now go queen d2 and challenge this d file which he's just abandoned okay keep gaining space sure h5 and now we always just go d6 but it feels a little not great all right so we'll keep playing patiently and I'm hoping for queen f2 now. So, a man of my word. Let's see. I guess his big idea is he wants to take on d5. If I start with bishop h3 and then go queen f2, that looks pretty good. Let's start with bishop h3. And so, yeah, queen f2 is probably decent, but cd5 is a little annoying. Um, and here my thought was queen f2. And... This looks very difficult for black all of a sudden. Bishop b6 is coming. And if he, if he has to play c5, that's a very bad sign. I'll go bishop f1 and stop b5 and threaten stuff. Okay, so he does that one. Um, I guess it makes some sense. Let's uh, start with bishop back to f1. It served its purpose. He wants the d-file instead. At some point, I might just go bishop b6 and take the pawn, but it doesn't feel like that should be the first point we're looking at. Bishop g7, I don't understand, though. So let's start with bishop b6. Ask this queen where she wants to go. Maybe next I'll take the pawn. So does he have anything after bishop takes a5? He can go... Um, you can go c5, I guess, but how much am I scared of that? Maybe I should be. If I go dc here, that looks pretty good. dc, bc, and then bishop a5. Let's do that. Um, structurally, the position's starting to look pretty dubious for black. Okay, so he does that, but now my thought was I can get away with this one because if c5, my bishop will escape. Or I can just take it. And, all right, so now bishop a6 and bishop b4 looks pretty good. Fight for the c5 square. Let's do it. And the d-file at the same time. Bishop b4. And now uh, I'm going to get the open file. So that's a good move. I think it's what he has to do, but uh, I don't think it'll save him. So if I start with bishop b7, is there a reason not to? Not that I can see. Start with bishop e7. Grabbing a pawn might be a bit greedy, but let's see. So there, that's a clever move, I guess. Um, if I go bishop g5 and bring the bishop back to e3, and this feels bad for black. So here, let's, um, let's go bishop e3, and I can take with the knight on d1 if I need to to keep everything protected. If he plays queen b2, I take with the rook on d4. I thought I could take with a rook on d4 here, but I guess he'll have rook a3 at the end, knight e2, queen c2, and counterplay. Um, 
but I don't think I have a choice, so let's try this. And he's going to get some counterplay here, but I suspect I'm still going to be better. So take, take. He's got to take this and then go rook a3, and then he's only going to be slightly worse. So I think I have to play knight e2 now. So let's do it. And then queen d4, queen c2, and if he plays queen d4, I can take it and go knight b3. So that will be okay. If queen c, I think he has to try queen c2, but it's sort of dangerous for him after like king f2, for example. His king is open, my knight is better than the bishop. It's, it's not amazing for me, but it's a try. All right, so wait, hang on, can I go? Okay, let's go king f2 first, sure. Keep everything nice and defended. Queen b3, huh? It's clumsy. Queen b3 saves him, and then I have to go knight g1, and I'm not better. Yeah, okay. He's fine now. Maybe more than fine. Yeah, probably not more than fine. Yeah, sure. So there, let's, um, let's go uh, rook e2, keep everything protected. Then he, yeah, let's just keep everything protected. That's a good first place to start. Queen b1, sure. Let's go back to e1, I guess. Probably making a draw here isn't the worst thing I could do. Knight e2, but now he's sort of starting to drift a little bit. I don't think I can punish him, but maybe you could imagine something going wrong for black. All right, so let's start with rook d1. Um, c5, I have queen d8. And then queen b5. C5, maybe I have to go queen c4. That's like a c5, queen d5, maybe, but no queen b2. No c5 is a good move here. But queen d8, queen b5, rook d2, and only I can be better, but I'm not. It should just be equal. All right, so any funny business here? I don't think so. If I go queen c4. Queen b2, it's annoying, but maybe not so bad. Queen c4, queen b2, do I get rook d8? Let's try queen c4, maybe. Nah, rook b2. All right, let's just go queen d8 and keep things as safe as possible. Takes, takes, king f8, and here. I think this actually is a little bit uncomfortable for black. He should be fine, but it's not going to be totally trivial. All right, so let's go rook to perhaps c8. It's a good place. Should be five, it's a good move. And of course I missed it. Alright. Um wait, is my knight just like almost trapped? That's not good. Alright, let's go uh here, I guess. Rook I one he has, and then rook b eight or rook c five is better. You can go king d six though, and I'm just worse. Pawn is coming. Yeah, okay. Well now we're just looking for counterplay basically. Oh shoot, I've blundered again. Right, check. It's wondering like every game so horribly. Rook c7, and I'm just busted, yeah? Okay, let's see if he can put this one away. I'm sure he can. Yeah, that's bad news. Check. Check. Right, let's just try this, I guess. There's no point trying. All right, I'm gonna resign this one. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this match next game, aren't I? Oh man, I'm getting such good positions too. Okay, gotta win with black on command to stay in the match. If I lose this match, it's not the worst thing. He's clearly better at this than me. Um, so now I gotta win on command. Let's see if I can manage. Okay, well, if you have to win, you play the Sicilian, right? So he plays closed, that's fine. Um, let's go knight c6. Sure, knight d4. I think g6 is fine here. Maybe a6 first and then g6. Start with a6. And now let's go g6. This is definitely fine for black. Like, it's 
If he takes d4, he's already like slightly worse. So yeah, so here I gave this line with d6 and knight back to c6 is fine. So I've at least reached a fine position with black in a game where I need to win on command, which is a good place to start. But um, of course, I've just played this match very badly and I deserve to lose and he deserves to win. He's just been very, very resourceful in bad positions. All right, so let's go knight d7. Start fighting for the dark squares. At least you could imagine a world where, where I can get something going here. In a game where you need to win on command with black, this is like exactly what you want. Get an interesting position with, with some play. All right, so here, let's, um, let's, I guess, start with e6 and then go b5 and take some space. If this should be two, I can go like knight e5. C3, sure, should be seven. Let's go rook c8, anticipating the opening of the c file. D4, huh? So I take this and then go like e5 and knight d4. Feels at least not terrible. Well, I'm definitely taking this, but the question is what do I do next? Um, no, e5 is not great. Let's just go e5. My thought was take, and then he has knight g4. Let's just go with knight e7 and make a calm move and keep some pieces on the board and hope for chances later. Seems fine. All right, so I might be gonna, I might be ready for like knight a4 or something soon, but. I mean, if, I, I really deserve to lose this match the way I've been playing, and he deserves to win, so let's go queen d7, I guess, just make a move. At some point I might play f5. Is now that point? Yeah, I can be more patient. Or maybe it is that point. Yeah, you know what? Must win game. Let's do it. Let's complicate things a bit. And hopefully play f4 and gain space, but yeah. I mean, if I can play f takes e4 and leave him with a bad bishop on a1, I have to be doing reasonably well, I think. But So there, if I go f4, where is his knight even going? Let's try this f4 and then maybe play d5 and get the knight to c4. Right, he's not going to play like, oh, does he have queen g4? I blundered again. He does, or he thinks he does. If I play d5, what's the big idea? Knight takes d5, I guess. And then knight takes d5, bishop takes d5 comes. My rook gets pretty good at the end, but it's still not great. If I play rook f6, take, 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 take. This is not going to work. No, I just blundered some trick again. Too strong, my friend, too strong. So here, d5. Oh, wait, d5. He can't play knight takes d5, so what am I talking about? Yeah, he can't play knight d5. I mean, this is how bad my form is today. So maybe queen g4 was just dumb. Uh, I, somehow I thought he had knight d5, but I can just go ed and then take with the uh, knight on um, d7. If to play. So I'm not allowed to just play like h5 and knight c4. This has to be pretty good for me. All right, get this queen out of my face before anything else. That queen is really strong. All right, so now let's go knight c4. can always take back on d5 with the bishop, if I even need to. Let's pre-move that just to be like the cool kids with their pre-moves. Um,
So he takes that one. This looks really bad for white now. I take this way. And then if I take on e4, and then get like knight d5 at the end, just give him the pawn. Seems okay. Or I can go knight c6 and attack d4 is also decent. Let's go. Oh, hang on, how do I want to do this? Take, take, rook c6. Yeah, let's just take everything and go rook c6 and then queen d5 next or something. And this c-pawn is going to be very good. We can try d5 here, I guess. But knight takes d5, and I'm not sure I believe it. Oh, but he has queen g6. Now, d5 just works. Good grief. Always some tactic. Now, d5, queen d5. Okay, so knight d2. Let's uh, start with queen d5, I guess. Challenge the queen. Seems like a good place to begin. And now queen f5, and then my knight gets to d5. And then I'm good to go, or at least should have a reasonable position. Queen a4, sure. So if I go c3, what's the big idea? c3 and then like c2 even? He has knight e4, I suppose. That knight's pretty good there. Well, I have no time. All right, let's go c3 and... Um, knight f3 was not expected. Let's go, um, let's now go queen b5 and bring the rook to c8 and hope to avoid counterplay, which has not been what I have done for most of this match. Yeah, so here he's getting counterplay. Um, takes, I have to take this or can I go rook c7? No, rook c7, knight g6 is too good. I've got to take this. And now he goes like maybe queen c1. Okay, he takes that, and then oh, and I can't even play um, knight d5. Yeah, okay, I deserve to lose this match. It's fine. All right. I am very much lost now, and I just sort of don't even want to play anymore. But uh, he's just been too strong. All right, but we're going to try, just because why not? Bishop d6, knight d5, and... Yeah. No, okay, it's c3. Check, I guess, and just hope. There's rook d3, and I can cool it. And rook b4. It's going to f5. It's just busted. Takes that. Can I even pretend anything? Not really. Take, take, rook c6. Let's take this and go rook c6, I guess, but it's just lost. d7, king e7. And lost. Um, gosh, that was even. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's fine. He deserves to win, and I deserve to lose, and that's how it goes. Um, all right, uh, good match. I'm sorry, wrong button. Yeah, okay, I, I played too bad. Just don't deserve it. Good game. Good games to him. I I ragged on myself a lot, but I really have to give this guy major props. He he was incredibly resourceful. I just I admire that so It was just so tenacious and. So, yeah, big congrats to Sanaba Hap for the win. Um, yeah, so. Yeah. Hey.